Hello everybody, it's time to check up on r slash scrap mechanic. This time, let's see if we can hit 50 likes to continue this video series. So I was recording the idle sounds of a farm bot and found out it has secret idle sounds that you don't typically hear. Take a listen. I don't really hear anything. Is it just like the, the growl? Is it just the growl or something? What's going on? I have decided on posting a progress update on my detailed city tile that I'm currently working on. I would really appreciate some help with what more to add to the city, name ideas for the tile, and maybe even roads and landmarks. Dang, this is already looking pretty developed. Got some nice skyscrapers. I can't really see the inside though. Do you, wait, do people have to like build the inside? Oh wait, no, 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 that's a building under construction, I think. Is it? I, I don't know, I can't tell. <laughs> but look at that, it's got working street lights and everything. Train tracks, looks like it has a working water fountain. Even benches and a trash can. One thing I'm curious about is the bench and trash can, are they like loose objects or are they part of the terrain tile? Because I think uh, if somebody wants to play with this and go like GTA style driving where they're not supposed to, they're probably going to want to crash into those benches and trash can and see them flying all over the place. Actually, it would be pretty cool to see if the trash can was like a destructible terrain asset, kind of like the trees are, but like when you crash into it, you just see like papers flying all over the place. Get a good look at a, a, a skyscraper. Looks like a, a business. There's even bus stops. There's another construction zone. Wait, do those train tracks just go into the forest? And it's got a park. The place for everyone to bring their little doggies to poop. Pick up after your dog. That's a pretty cool park sign. It, wait, is that like a hot spring? What's going on with the steam? Oh, and it even has an indoor, well, quote unquote indoor. It's a caged up soccer field or whatever sport you gotta play with uh, two goals. It even has underground sewers. All right, there's a closer look at the train station. And it even has a parking lot. I think they thought of everything. Yeah, what more could you add to this? And here we're taking a look at what's outside the city. You can see the road conditions get a little bit worse the farther you go. Pretty nice landscaping going on too with a natural lake. Here's a closer look at the lake. It's got a dock for you to jump off of. And a floating thingy. I don't know what those thingies are called, but they're floating. Oh, this is a train station outside of the city. Another look at the natural landscape. Everything kind of looks dusty and hazy. Very dusty city you live in. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So as far as like suggestions go, I can't really think of anything to add. Maybe a skate park? All in all though, I think this is pretty cool. And this is just a single tile too. Are they gonna make more tiles that you can like mix and match? Design your city layout? I made a corn popper toy. Mmm, corn. Let's see, the corn popper. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give the corn, gimme the corn. Oh, I know what this is. Okay, nice. This is actually like a little kid's toy, like toddlers. And yeah, they got the mechanism working exactly the same. Uh, the more you push it along, the more those colored balls on the inside just keep on popping. Pretty cool, and today I learned it's called a corn popper. AE86 True Truno? Trueno? Tru Truno? It is a very nice looking car. My goodness, they put a lot of work into this one. With the classic pop-up headlights. They went all out too, I mean, look at that trim. Giant rear view mirrors, I just noticed that. <laughs> They're pretty big for that car. Stumbled upon a completely normal walk. This is the work in progress of a custom game mode. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, there's a walk. I mean, it seems pretty normal. What? What? <laughs> Wait, what? It's like a Terminator walk. I come from the future. Oh my god! It's a walk that actually runs towards you. That's actually really cool, but also really scary. Oh my god, the amount of shotgun shots. Holy moly. <laughs> uh, I love that death animation for the walk. That's actually really cool. Now I'm kind of curious about the story of this custom game mode. I didn't realize Scrap Mechanic was running on the Matrix. The Matrix, you say? What? Oh, it's <laughs> it's the shadows cast by all that fencing. That's really cool. He's beginning to believe. <laughs> 
Really weird how you can see it only at an angle, but then when you look at the wall, it's gone. I designed a recycle bot for scrap mechanic. Okay, so this is sort of like just a big grinder bot. You just toss your trash in, a way for you to turn your crafted stuff into the original components. So like, let's say you have an engine that you don't even use anymore. You just toss it in, it grinds it up, and it gives you the metal or scrap metal circuit board, whatever the like original parts were. And it seems like it's gonna take up some fuel. I think this is actually a great idea, especially since some of the resources in survival mode are limited. Next up, we got a mod called Ballin' Mechanic. Finally, somebody made a basketball. I actually have a lot of recreational balls and stuff in the mod pack beta, but it's nice to see somebody finally taking that idea and running with it to create a basketball that you can actually pick up and throw around. Although if you ask me, this basketball doesn't really bounce. It's kind of like a solid rock. I guess it has some bounce, but it could use a little bit more, I think. Going for the three-pointer. You never noticed. Dot, dot, dot. What did we never notice? Never noticed? Never noticed? Oh. Oh, that's kind of cool. So like some actual farming equipment. I don't know what it's called but like it's actual farming equipment to turn the soil ready for planting. That's kind of cheating a little bit in the game scrap mechanic. Like how many plots of soil did you just plant there without getting any soil bags? That's a very cool idea. If scrap mechanic was a little bit more like a farming simulator, this is how it should be. Now we just got a post that just says the funny. Ooh, the funny, haha, the funny. Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> uh, it is the funny number. 420 hours of playtime. Congratulations, you got the funny number. This is beautiful. Ah, an explosion of a ton of wedges. How did they, wait, how did they actually do this? They went to edit their title screen, exploded something somehow, everything's in the air, and then quickly left. Looks kind of mystical, like a star field. What's wrong with my Minecraft? I have just installed Scrap Mechanic Mod. Ah, yes. This is awesome. Another block that I actually had in the mod pack beta uh, was just a Minecraft block. I just sort of like put the Minecraft block there just to like sort of toss the idea out there. And it looks like somebody went all out with it too. I think they did a different block size. So it's four by four scrap mechanic blocks for a Minecraft block. <laughs> it's kind of weird to see. You thought it was a chest? Nope, it's my car. I think it looks pretty good. Do you think it's possible to give all these blocks the same function that they have in Minecraft? Can we finally play with redstone? Can we have a crafting table? This is how I thought scrap Scrap mechanic would automate oil collection. I drew this before oil ponds were a thing. Right, so those little oil things, those bubble of oils at the bottom of the lake. This is kind of like a portable oil rig. So it just floats at the top, you get that sucky suck at the bottom. Different levels equals more reach and storage. So I think they mean that uh, you gotta upgrade this thing with component kits to get a longer reaching tube. You know, for the sucky suck. 900 hour survival world. Today I learned this asset has no hitbox. Could it be that you just didn't load in the world? Like the, the, the tile correctly? Is it a bug? Really? Those signs have no collision? But the bottom has collision, right? The poles that hold up the sign also have no collision? What? I could have sworn they had collision. It seems like a mistake or like a recent bug or something. I, I, I could have sworn they had collision. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, they, you do what? They don't have any collision. I could have sworn they did. Making logic creations be like. <laughs> logic creations in a nutshell. Just lots, lots of blue spaghetti. Oh, you needed to do something else? Just add more blue spaghetti. More and more blue spaghetti. Just a little bit more here, a little bit more there. Just keep on piling it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this actually looks pretty tasty. I would devour that entire mountain of blue spaghetti. Both figuratively and literally. And the top post this time around is Scrap Mechanic Slander 2. Low draw distance users, yep. Fans mod, lots of robots. Installing manual mods. <laughs> Accidentally deleting friends creation. <laughs> They're talking to a brick wall. <laughs> Logic builders on their way to once again harness the power of connection spaghetti to create a mind-blowing in-game computer that claim for- Oh my god, I can't even read it. <laughs> Dude, the memes are so perfect. Going to the mechanic station. Going to the train. <laughs> I definitely play survival mode without a car. Just running on foot. You died at a warehouse. <laughs> Community trying not to say Windows Chapter 2 release. 
peu. <rire> Oh my god, yep. <laughs> yep, that's... <laughs> uh, that's definitely true. Axelot got what they wanted. I'm not making mods for their game anymore, so... New dev block comes out. Wait, what? Is that actually a thing? I gotta say, monkey dude, that's uh, some pretty. You're pretty good memeing. Pretty good memeing. And that's it for this r slash crap mechanic video. Let me know down in the comments below what do you guys think. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for some more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.